Ashraf, uh, yeah, hard act to follow. Um, Professor J.B. Dodo is an Associate Professor of African Grains and Food Bioactors at the University of, of, of Pretoria. And, and, you know, the conference has come to an end. And I want to ask you, because the, the biggest gathering here was to highlight the importance of uh, sorghum for South Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa and its potential role in enhancing food, nutrition, security and driving economic development. Did you come close to achieving any form of way forward? Yeah, actually, we're in, the, we're in the middle of the conference right now. The conference ends on Thursday. And um, from the deliberations we've been having from Monday, I think we're well on our way to achieving what we came here for. The principal thing we came here for is to start creating an awareness of the many important attributes of sorghum mm -hmm. and the role that sorghum has to play uh, with regard to it being an important food source, especially in these times where we have climate change mm -hmm. and sorghum is described as a, as a so-called climate smart crop. So it's going to play a very important role in being a staple food source for millions of people, especially in sub-Saharan Africa and in other areas of the world where sorghum is consumed as food. I, I often challenge academics like yourselves. You know, you have these wonderful discussions yes. in, in beautiful rooms like yes. we're in today. And us as the public are not quite involved. Yeah. Uh, what is our call to action? What, how do we engage with you and these discussions and participate? That's a very important question. I was telling my audience that when I was coming to this conference, I was telling a friend I was going to the Sorghum Conference, and they thought it's going to be a, sorghum, a, a, a conference about sorghum beer, which I mean, <laughs> which 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 you know brings home the fact that people, for the most part, consumers for the most part are not very aware of the many other important food uses of sorghum and the many positive attributes of sorghum. I think on our part, researchers need to do a better job of communicating their research with the community and also communicating their research also with policy makers yes. as well because I think that's very, very crucial in positioning sorghum as a crop of choice in, in Africa. I mean, sorghum is actually Africa's cereal. It has its origins in Africa mm -hmm. and um, I believe that what countries like in Latin America like Mexico and things have done for things like quinoa, we can do the same for sorghum in sub-Saharan Africa and in other parts of the world. So, so I think researchers should not sit in, we shouldn't sit in our ivory towers and uh, in our silos doing research but we should learn how to communicate our, our research to the common man, the common person out there, the consumer out there for them to know why this crop is important within an African context. Professor Duoda, are we, are we on time though? The population of Africa is growing very rapidly. Yeah. What are the urgent issues to be taken care of now? And what sort of investments do we expect big business, for instance, or governments mm -hmm. to put their money in? That's a very good question. And also, um, with, with regard to that, apart from the population growing, another thing that's happening is increased ur urbanization. Yes. Increased urbanization. And that is affecting people's dietary choices because people begin to look for convenience. And uh, so it affects the kind of choices they have. And so people are moving more out of their traditional foods, which they perceive are taking a lot of time to prepare, which actually are rather healthy, quite healthy, and opting for convenient foods, which are not that healthy. And it's contributing to a lot of non-communicable diseases and so on. Sorghum has an important role to play in that regard. The call for action is to make, I mentioned there in the, in the panel, to make traditional foods trendy mm -hmm. again and make them available. I think there's opportunities for um, us to start working with small-scale en entrepreneurs, um, kind of doing some kind of technology transfer to kind of educate them about how to process some of these um, healthful food products from crops like sorghum and I think that will begin to form an important base upon which one can build um, a very very important and um, thriving value chain for sorghum 
in the community. I really appreciate your time. I'm sure we're going, this is just the beginning of continuing yeah. conversations that we're yeah. going to have, but I really appreciate your sharing some time with us. You're most welcome. Thank you. And, and thanks to you, Ashraf. We, now that was the last crossing from the Century City Conference Center in Cape Town. Thank you.